hello friends welcome back to our youtube channel cloud nugget so uh, from today i am going to start aws series in english language as well in hindi i have already uploaded around 50 lectures but now going to start in english as well because i got some members feedback around 15 to 20 members who want to aws playlist in english so i'm going to start it from today and we will learn from scratch to advanced level for aws solution architect okay so in today lecture we are going to uh, review the dashboard for aws controls and uh, some more details about aws uh, dashboards so i open browsers and let me open the aws console which i already created account with aws so if you want to create you can go here like uh, create aws account click on free and you can click here create a free accounts and it will ask some details like uh, which types of account you can create you just mention these details here and what's the benefit we are getting in uh, free accounts let me share some details about that so types of offers if you explore more than 100 product and starting building on aws using the free tiers three different type of free offers are available depending on the product used click icon below to explore more details like uh, free trials short term free trial offer start free from the date of activate a particular service 12 month service free enjoy these offer for 12 months following your initial sign up dates to aws and always free if you see lots of service which azure provide always free in aws control you can just click on that and you can review the product and service details there and another uh, important thing is here like which we are getting free here in free tier account you can see that details here free tier 12 months free uh, in 12 month free account we will get 750 r for ec2 instance which we can use free tier for uh, amazon s3 5 gb space till 12 months we are getting free and after that we will get charged for that amazon rda service for 12 months 750 hours we will get free of our cost so same things we have lots of services services in aws which we are getting free here and you can review the old details like how much time we are getting free with those details in free accounts okay so you guys can check these details from aws free account services details i will mention the this link in description if you want to review or you guys can just uh, go in aws console or you can find that details also okay so i have already created aws account and this account is more than one year so like uh, some rare cases i'm getting charges for that but still i'm using some services which is free like uh, we have like we are creating ec2 instance so t2 micro is always free tier there so we are not getting that charge much for that but we are getting charged for like uh, uh, storage which we are using in that and public ip which we are using that so we are getting that charge with that virtual machines but uh, like other services we are getting some free of cost in azure sorry in aws console while we are creating any resource okay so from uh, right side corner you will see here user name which i have created like uh, which uh, subscription id i have so my id is study point and that is my account id like whenever you are creating any accounts with aws so that uh, you will get a different id with your account id like uh, whatever you have created and if you want to review more details about your accounts you can just go in account and you will get the details for about your profiles and uh, we have some lots of options here organization service quotas billing dashboards security credentials you can review these details so i will explain all the details in coming lectures and then we are getting regions here you can see ohio that is a region and around 26 or 27 plus regions we have in aws console let me share that details also so as of now if you see the aws console aws cloud spends 84 availability zones within 26 geographical regions around the world like around 60, 26 regions we have uh, in all of world as of now 
and in 26 regions we have around 84 oilability zones okay and uh, uh, they are and uh, aws also announced that they are planning for 24 more oilability zones and eight more aws regions and in th that will be coming in australia canada india israel new zealand spain switzerland and united arab emirates uae's so if you want to see that like uh, how you are how we are calculating that 84 regions so in one regions we will get around three zones three availability zones in uh, like only us north virginia have in which we are getting around six region six uh, availability zones and other we have three and some specific we have four availability zones if you want to see that detail also you can uh, check these details here let me find the other details aws regions or you can search aws geographical sorry geo geographical regions and you can open that mm. here we don't have that is different site so we can search it here let me open it here AWS geographical so these are some other documents which is related to this but I'm trying to show something different Yes, that, that's what, what I'm looking. If you see here, North America. In North America, uh, we have around uh, multiple regions here. U.S. North Virginia, U.S. North California, U.S. West, U.S. Oregon, U.S. Ohio, U.S. Uh, Canada Central regions, and uh, government cloud for U.S. And U.S. government also using AWS cloud for that. And in all, reg uh, all regions, we have around three availability zones. And you can see the launch date also when they launch in that locations. And if you see here, US uh, East North Virginia, we have around six uh, availability zones and launched in 2006. Local zone is 10 and launched 2022. And if you want to see edge locations, you can just click on here and you will see that green dot is that uh, presenting for edge locations. And that uh, gr uh, brown colors, sorry, orange, orange brown, that is for your regions locations. So same thing here, if you want to see switch South America, in South America only one region is available, but we have uh, around four or five edge locations. So same thing, if you want to see Europe, Middle East, Africa, you will see the details here. And another thing, if you want to see Asia specific, in Asia Pacific, you will see like we have uh, Asia, Asia Pacific Tokyo regions. In that region, we have four availability zones. Asia Pacific Seoul regions, we have four availability zones. So that's why total we have around 84 regions available in AWS as of now and 26 is region. So if you want to switch regions, you can switch from here. Like I'm going to click on that US Virginia. So my region is, will get switched with North Virginia. So here all the regions is available here which we have in AWS control and which we can use. Here we get some uh, sport related information. So if you want to see, uh, you, want, you want to any sport from AWS sporting, you just can click on that sport AWS sport center. If you need any training documents and document related to AWS, you guys can just review these documents for study purpose as well. 
and for AWS related any if you are getting any issue with any service just click on that support center and you can log the case with AWS support center and they will revert back on you and as of now they are supporting it on email chat and telephone also support is available so here is you can see that cloud cell for AWS if you click on that uh, we can get the AWS cloud cell here and we can launch services as with cloud cell also like we are using manually from console okay that's the search bar here for AWS console if you want to search any services in AWS console just you need to type the name of that service like I'm going to create uh, source EC2 so related to AC2 it will show you all the things which is available in AWS console so you can see that and if you want to see any document related to AC2 you just can click on that documents and you can study that document about what's the benefit of AC2 what is the details about that AC2 you guys can learn about from documents as well note AC2 scheduler has been suppressed by AWS instance schedulers so all the study documents also AWS providing here free of knowledge and uh, they are also providing some marketplace related to that services and that main option is here services in services we will get all the services which we Azure is providing here so if you see like analytics application regions AR VRs AWS cost management blockchain business application inside computer you can you will get the details for EC2 instance lambda services containers database storage so we have all the services inside that but in this if you are unable to find anything you can just search that services here and it will show you all the details here like if you want to see watcher uh, gateway so it will show you the storage gateway api gateway whatever he have in his services okay so you guys can get these types of things and that is aws that's a logo for aws and that's man's home screen is got just uh, changed by AWS console earlier this uh, console is not here so in recent uh, visited item we will get these details like which services we have recently which from the known uh, like practical whatever you did that we service it will show in recent items if you want to change the same things here remove you can remove that or you can change the size welcome to AWS it will show you here and uh, it will some give you some more information about the AWS if you want to change it from remove it here you can do that and if you want to create custom dashboard as well you guys can do that add in add widget revert previous console or revert to default layout revert to previous yeah that is the main like uh, they earlier they are using that service like uh, before that uh, console home console we are getting these types of console in AWS if you want to see that like the new aws control home will replace your existing ex experience soon and that was started from april 22 the new AWS control home will replace your current experience switch now to customize your home and view available inputs inside sorry so if you want to switch you just can switch now and if you want to revert it back you can do that or if you want to reset it default it out you also can do that okay so here like uh, these consoles these widget are added by aws console by manually but if you want to do it custom you guys can just remove that and you guys can add whatever you want to do it here okay so these types of console we are getting in aws consoles so in coming lectures i will share the more details about uh, these services which we are using in aws and we are going to practical from scratch here so hope whatever i share the details here you will get some basic knowledge at least about aws console whatever we have and if you want to go more deeply you guys can just search the documents related to aws and you will get all the details in documents so thank you guys so thanks guys for keep supporting and uh, watching and suggesting me for create that playlist in english language so from tomorrow topics i'm going to create practical from ec2 instance how we can do that whatever we have for related to ec2 instance services in aws console so thank you guys keep watching and keep supporting bye, -bye.